Welcome to CSE's presentation on Structural BIM, demonstrating the latest integration tools between CSC's Fast Track Building Designer and Autodesk's Revit Structure. CSC's Fast Track Building Designer is a comprehensive BIM solution for the design of steel structures. It enables structural engineers to provide gravity and lateral designs fully co-compliant in one central model. Here you see the Fast Track interface showing a physical model. Structural details such as beams, columns, 2D or 3D trusses, joists, hangers, and as you see here, propped cantilevers can all be easily modeled. Fast Track will also provide engineers with tools for comprehensive composite beam design and wind load calculations, all to your chosen code of practice. On completion of a design, Fast Track will report to you the status of the frame highlighting if the frame is fully co-compliant or if there are areas that may need attention. To transfer the Fast Track model to Revit Structure, we go to our Export menu, Export to Revit Structure, and we create a transfer file. Now I'm going to create a transfer file called Pass1, and then this can be emailed or put on a server to be picked up in Revit Structure. Let's now look at how we can import the Fast Track model we've just created into Revit Structure. From within Revit Structure, go to the Add-ins menu, and here you will find CSC's Revit Integrator. This is a free plugin for Revit Structure, available from cscworld.com. The Revit Integrator works in a wizard style, taking you through the integration process step by step. On the first screen, you choose your import or export options, noting whether it is for the first time or a subsequent update for the model. Next, we map to the import file we created from Fast Track. The next page enables you to filter out groups of objects. If you wish to exclude elements such as grids, slabs, walls or braces, you can untick their category here. In addition, if you wish to update elements, however, ignore any geometrical updates, you can select Ignore Position. The next page looks at the mapping of Fast Track and Revit elements. Here, the Revit integrator audits the two sets of family types and reports if any elements are not automatically recognized. These elements can then be manually mapped to the required family type, providing a custom mapping. These custom integration maps can then be saved for the project or for communication to other colleagues. The Revit integrator now converts all the Fast Track elements into Revit families. This process loads the required families for you automatically, leaving you with a fully integrated model as if it was created directly in Revit. If we now examine the imported model, we will see the physical column has been communicated from Fast Track as one length and is a W8 by 31 section. Now if we select this beam, we can see it is a W21 by 44 section as defined in Fast Track. Let's now examine the imported properties of this composite beam. Firstly, we can see it's a W1835 and when we examine the properties, we can see the grade has been populated and a bit further down we can see the number of studs and if any pre-camber would also be populated. Later on we can see the end reactions have been populated and as we've added additional information including the part mark and if we search on CB we can filter out all our composite beams. Once the initial model has been imported into Revit from Fast Track, the modeling process can continue, adding details and amendments to suit the construction drawings. In this example, you can see foundations, walls, doors and trimming steel added to the model. The Revit user may now choose to tag elements with data populated from Fast Track, such as end reactions, serial sizes and the number of studs. As the project design is refined, detail amendments may be made to elements such as slabs and walls. From this Revit model, 
we would typically see the engineer creating his contract documents, such as plans, sections and elevations. Now let's make some amendments to the fast track model. Firstly, from a 2D view of the second floor, we will change the layout in the front bay. Next, we will amend the front two columns. And here we're going to choose some tube sections. You can now see the amendments made to the fast track model. We now wish to export the changes back to Revit structure. And here we're going to create a transfer file, this time called pass2. So let's now synchronize the changes we have made back into Revit. So firstly we go to the add-ins tab to the CSE Revit integrator and now we're looking to do an update of the existing model. We map to the new file, the pass2 file, and then we can include or exclude elements. So we're excluding grids, slabs and walls. The system then maps the information across and will report any changes to you that have taken place. With slabs set to transparent, we can clearly see the Revit model has been updated with the changes from FastTrack without compromising the modeling work carried out in Revit. Note the slabs and shear wall have not been updated from FastTrack as we requested. To assist with managing and auditing the changes made in FastTrack, elements imported can be color coded denoting its integration status. In this case, blue denotes modify members, cyan for new members, and red for no modifications. Also note the steelwork which is not color coded, denoting it is not part of the design frame. To demonstrate how changes made in Revit can be sent back to FastTrack, I have changed the beam layout on floor two, changed the front columns, and made the roof into a hip end. So let's see how FastTrack handles the changes that have been made in Revit. To import the export file from Revit, we go to File, Import from Revit Structure. FastTrack now gives you two options. The first is a standard import used when importing a model for the first time. The second, the ability to merge models together, ensuring items such as loading and design parameters are retained. In addition, we have a tick box that will retain all elements that were deleted in Revit for the engineer to review. Next, the engineer maps to the transfer file. On completion of the import, FastTrack can color code the structure, denoting its integration status. Here we can see blue indicates modified members, cyan new members, and red not modified. Members in orange denote members deleted but retained, and green for members that are not yet integrated with Revit. For more information, please visit us at cscworld.com.